What's up, guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're talking about Xin Yan. Now I was extremely excited for her, as she could be a top tier support for Chao. Let's go ahead and take a look at her E skill, one of the most unique pyro effect by far. Once you've ascended her to level 40 or above, you only need to hit two enemies to get level three shield and have a pyro aura coming out of her. She will be able to inflict pyro damage five times. With Chao's amazing attack speed, there is the potential for a bunch of vaporize to happen. Now we all know vaporized base damage could either be 1.5 or 2 times depending on which element was inflicted on first. It doesn't matter a whole lot in real combat as long as vaporized is triggered. For Chao, it could be very difficult to time just because how fast he attacked. Comparing her E to Bennett or Xiangling's, its advantage is that once you hit more than 2 enemies, the aura is AOE and hits anyone surrounding you versus Xiangling's bear who sometimes decides its own direction and hits nothing but air of Bennett's E which is a very straightforward pyro slash. Moving forward, let's take a look at my test build on her. We have about 2000 attack, 50 crit rate, 130% crit damage, with no pyro damage bonus. Now as to the weapon, I'm using the prototype of Minus. This is the best I have. Let's go to Artifact. Any Claymore character can be an OK DPS with Gladiator and Blusting Shivery. The Retracing Bowlight 2 piece is another excellent sell on her. It gives 35% more shield strength. And because her E scales off defense, it's better to have defense on it. Now her Constellation 1 gives attack and attack speed on crit. Her Constellation 2 gives a 100% crit rate chance on the physical portion of the damage and will also give you a shield. Let's take a look at her E skill. It deals pyro damage and creates a shield that's scaled off Xin Yan's defense. That's why I mentioned earlier the retracing bow light is good and you want to have defense stat on it as well. It's 2.5 times more effective against pyro damage similar to Diona's shield. Now her ult is a very interesting case where you see the 452% is based off physical damage. The pyro part in comparison is very insignificant which begs the question should her pyro damage be buffed. At level 40, her passive skill 1 makes it so much easier to obtain the AOE pyro effect. Her passive at level 70 gives anyone with the pyro shield 15% increased physical damage. I can see especially this working very well with Fischl. Now that's the basic gesture for our initial impression on Xin Yan. Now Mihoyo really put her in an awkward spot. She's really a pyro user with below average pyro damage. Is there a better way to build her? I'll test it out and let you guys know. But for now, don't waste your experience or mora on her if you have Bennett or Xiangling. And before I forget, let's take a look at her ult. It's pretty badass. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.